with Raymond Babs. He is the CEO of DA5. Hi, Raymond. Hi, Claire. Good afternoon. Good to be with you. Good afternoon. And we just came out of a panel discussion here at the Philippine Blockchain Week. Tell yes. us um, what you guys talked about over there. Oh, it was great. Uh, you know, the panel discussion really focused on regulatory issues, blockchain, traditional finance, digital banks, and where it's all headed and where we think the industry is going next year. Let's talk about DA5 for a while. How long has the company been around and um, what exactly do you do? So DA5 has been around for the last 17 years. So we started out as a remittance company and a foreign exchange company. We're one of the agents of Western Union here in the Philippines. So I started the company back in 2006 and we've grown the business to three or 4,000 branches in the last 17 years. Pandemic wasn't good to us. So we had to scale back and close branches. But now I think we're about, uh, we're at 1,800 branches uh, nationwide. So in the last two years, we were able to secure four more licenses from the BSP, which is uh, basically our EMI license, the virtual asset service provider, our OPS and our EPFS, right? So that makes us the 20th uh, licensed entity here in the Philippines to offer uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, what blockchain services do you, do you offer right now? And um, what kind of clients do you have? Okay, so as you can see behind me, right, we're very excited to launch our SearchPay app. It's a community app. And, you know, soon after that, we want to also launch a stable coin. I can't really uh, go into the specifics of that, uh, but, you know, that's something that's exciting for us. For, for DA5, I think uh, with blockchain here, you know, for us, the, the use case is very simple and very relevant, right? It's really to bring down the cost of remittance for our OFWs, right? So in the last 17 years, my tagline has always been fast reliable and convenience. But with my new licenses and because of blockchain, there are two more uh, words that will add to that, which is secure and cheap. So blockchain allows me to basically have a secure way of sending money uh, without having to go through the fiat rails. And uh, using uh, blockchain brings down the cost from an average of between six to 7% clear to about 1%. So that's something we're very excited for. Well, you're talking about stable coins, um, but in terms of, let's say, you know, like these blockchains um, and some of them that are very popular have high transaction fees, right? Yes. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, if there's one thing that we all agreed on when they asked me the future of the crypto industry, stable coins are here to stay, right? With the recent finality of the XRP decision in the US, you know, it's clear that a, a stable token is a utility token. So that's something that, you know, uh, I think will be here. So now the question is which one, right? There are about 50 stable coins there. And you're right, Claire, you know, the gas fees or the price of using each uh, chain or stable token differs, right? So basically like for us, you know, uh, we can offer uh, a, a cost or a gas fee that's almost close to zero, right? So I, I think that, you know, uh, the stable coins that will stay will be the ones that can offer a very, very low uh, gas fee. Right, I agree. And um, in terms of uh, regulations and um, regulation challenges and compliance uh, issues related to blockchain technology, how was D5 navigating that aspect? You know, uh, compliance has always been, you know, there. Uh, we've been regulated for the last 17 years. I believe that uh, a regulated entity makes for a stronger entity, right? So I guess for somebody like me and, and maybe uh, some of my colleagues in the space, it's always a choice between profits and compliance, right? And you know, when, you're, when you engage in, uh, in, let's say for example, uh, the issuance of a stable coin, for example, right? Uh, more than ever, uh, risk and uh, your, your reputation in the industry becomes a very big factor. Case in point would be FTX. If you were to ask me clear last year, you know, which would be the main players would be in the space, I would have said hands down FTX. But you know, what, less than a year later, right? So things can in, uh, can change very quickly in this space. So the only thing that remains is basically your your uh, reputation and the fact that you know you are uh, regulated by uh, a governing body. And um, what do you envision in the future of blockchain technology and blockchain adoption here in the Philippines? Um, what is uh, your observation in terms of its landscape and the climate here? Oh, I mean. It, uh, so I just recently came from uh, Token 2049 last week in Singapore and I've been attending a lot of these uh, blockchain events right from uh, Korea uh, and of course ours here in the Philippines and uh, they have basically a big community, a big following right and in the end it just really boils down to who do you partner with or who do you want uh, companies pushing blockchain technology right. 
And I feel the A5 is really well positioned for that because of all the licenses we have. I'm not saying that you know uh, all of these other entities that don't have a license can't also enjoy in the space, but what we want to do is to collaborate with them, right? And you know, uh, one of the ways we I, I think we can collaborate with them is with our app, right? Our app is a, a community wallet, which will basically try to engage with you know religious communities, NFT communities, uh, gaming communities, and so many other communities. And you know, uh, I, I think we're just. Uh, tapping, you know, uh, a small portion as of today, but as the months and years go by, you know, this community will, be, will go larger and larger and larger and, and mass adoption will be here. Uh, lastly, um, you know, a big part of this business and um, is the technology itself, right? Blockchain. So what are those blockchains that um, you think are the most promising that are out there that you've worked with that, that you like and um, maybe are considering? That's, a, that's an interesting question, Claire. But you're, not, you're, you're right. I mean, uh, blockchain is basically all about security, securing your data, and making it cheaper. That's what it's all about. If you can't do that, then you have no business of being into blockchain, right? Obviously, the ones that we know of, uh, the chains that are familiar to us are Bitcoin, uh, Ether, Solana, and you have a lot of layer twos. You have USDT, USDC. But basically, we're, uh, we want to ensure that whether you're doing a million transactions, a thousand transactions, 10,000, the cost is always the same. Now the question is how do you do that, right? That's where the technology comes in. Yeah. All I can say is Claire, just, just wait for ours. Okay. And uh, I guarantee it's something that, you know, that can be used by all of these other communities in our, in our space. Okay. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Raymond. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Claire, and uh, good luck with the event. I'm here with Charles Indusil. He is the head of blockchain at DA5. Hi, Charles. Hi, Claire. Thank you for having me here. Finally, nice to have you and speak to you here on CoinGeek. Um, Charles, tell us about this uh, new launch that you just announced today at the Philippine Blockchain Week. Yeah, so I'd like to, very excited to announce that finally we're going to introduce SurgePay as a community wallet. And today was very special for us at DA5 and SurgePay because it is the way that we, it's like our debut. What is SurgePay like? You know, what makes it another, is it another digital wallet? And those are the questions that kind of reverberate around the industry. Well, they're just doing another digital wallet. They're just doing another crypto wallet. But what we announced today is no, we are actually a digital wallet a crypto wallet as well as a community wallet. So the way that we're positioning SurgePay is it's a platform to empower communities across the Philippines and around the world. How do you empower communities in the Philippines and around the world? So everyone already transacts in a digital wallet. You pay your bills. It's pretty standard, right? So we're doing the same process. We're not, we're not changing it up. The only thing we're adding there is once you do a transaction within SurgePay, when the transaction finishes, we actually provide one peso donation to the community partner of your choice. So we are giving back to communities by empowering communities to just share the wallet to their members and having their members choose them as a community partner. So our wallet added a feature of social within transaction, making a wallet more entertaining, right? And that's the community wallet side. So we introduced a new feature called community tagging. You've heard of tagging before. Tag me, Claire. Right. When you guys launch a coin geek, I like tag my name, right? So it's a familiar term that we don't want to reinvent, but we've just enabled it so that users that download SearchPay, they have a list of community partners that we verify to make sure that they are proper communities. And if I choose this religious institution as a community partner, every time I transact and do my day-to-day, -day, which I already do, a part of my fees go directly to the community. So we are pushing communities further. And this is something that we've kind of like solved because when pandemic hit, the biggest hit are donations. Churches and organizations, because the priority of people are survival. Donations, been a, a, it's been a difficult time for them, right? right? So they realized we need a platform, right? And so happens blockchain provides us with a certain technology to enable this, this way of giving back, right? But, but how does, um, how does Surge pay us the company uh, make money? Um, you know, if, if you're giving out these rewards to your uh, customers, users. So, that's why the beauty of us is when we developed SurgePay as an app, we developed it with blockchain in mind. 
So we're utilizing the newest technology, the newest layer through a partnership with Gurufin to ensure that our business model revolves around this. And we changed our business model in a sense that we don't need to spend multiple, multiple millions of money to actually acquire users. We don't want to go that route because what we're doing is we're actually getting the communities that partner with us to do that for us. And in return, they get rewarded with extra mileage for their individual missions. Great. And, and I know that you're launching it. So um, what can the users expect? How easy did you make it for your users to use it? Um, so tell us about all that. So in terms of crypto and blockchain adoption, what's missing and what's lacking in the industry is user interface and user experience. You got to focus on those things, right? If you don't focus on that, you won't attract new people to actually try your platform. Right. So keeping that in mind, our focus is making it easier for users to use. They don't need to know the details of like, you know, I have to download key phrases, all these things, right? That actually hinder people from participating in the industry. Right. All you need to do is you have the wallet there, search pay. We make the features available. If you're playing in a game, we have an NFT storage system there allowing you to do so as well. So all in one, everything in, in the app. Within the ecosystem. I think um, nowadays it's not really about building a super app. Like for me, I'm advocating towards building a super ecosystem where you have multiple applications interoperable across all chains. That's the way that you're going to win this game. Exactly, I agree with you. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, Charles. Thank you, thank you for having me, Claire. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.